Having made history by winning the League Cup this season, I went to speak to St Mirren boss Danny Lennon at his home. I remember round about the age of 14, a summer's night, and I was lying on top of my mum and dad's bed, and it was, I was sort of I'm thinking, school's running out of time here, what am I going to do? And I just knew that I was going to have an opportunity to go and play football. Um, I just wanted it more than anything in, in life, and um, that, that feeling had never left me. And then the opportunity arose, and I, I was going to make sure that I grabbed it with, with both hands. I managed to score four goals in the European campaign for Wraith Rovers that season, and the highlight was the one against uh, Bayern Munich and, and the great goalkeeper Oliver Kahn. And, um, I got a wee bit of luck along the way with a wee slight deflection, but nevertheless, uh, the moment was, was fantastic, and it's a a memory that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. My oldest son, Keelan. Keelan's 14 years of age, so he is. He's got an important game tonight, and that's why he's, he's fueling up these calves, so he is. So it's a, a bottom of the table clash. Something something that's a tradition in the Lennon household this <laughs> season. Um, and this is young Cruz. Cruz is five years old, um, and he plays football, and he's football daft. He got a big tribute to table, didn't he, for your Christmas? and. He's a wonderful commentator, so, yeah, so he's, he's certainly going to be involved in the, the game. <laughs> this is my my strength that I was telling you about. If my wife have won. We've been married now in 20 years. 19. 19 years, but we've been with each other since we were 15, so we are. But I think it'll never last. Why do you think it will? <laughs> two minutes ago, before you came in, I wish Dad was um, the manager in Man U. I said, so <laughs> <laughs> One day, that's what we're aiming for, son. That's what we're aiming for. I always knew that I had a, a love um, for the game and that I was always looking to try and get back in at that, that end. And I got a, a good opportunity when I was at Gretna Football Club um, to become the head of youth. I went down there to finish my career and they were having a real push and they were getting a little bit of experienced players in. But in my second year of that contract, I got offered the head of youth job um, down there. And I grabbed that with both hands as I could see my, my career slipping out or getting the wrong side of 30. And um, I got that wonderful opportunity, enjoyed that, enjoyed giving a little bit of back. I always seen myself as um, coaching as, as being a doctor. You want to go out there and make people better. Um, and that was something that, that I had a, a very much an appetite for. Um, Things didn't go too well down there, um, and then I got an opportunity to be player assistant manager at Cowdenbeath, which I was ever so grateful for. Um, good experience within that, working with first team players. And then I got the opportunity to manage the, the team myself. Um, had a good bit of success there with two back-to-back -back promotions. And then I got the opportunity to uh, manage a, a wonderful SPL club in, in St Mirren Football Club. Got to have a a very understanding family, more so your wife, um, and, and Avon's absolutely fantastic in that. And a lot of people say to me along the years, "What's your strengths?" And they'll say, "My wife." Um, and, and there's no truer. They're, they're, they're there to see the downside. They they see the highs of it, and they certainly know that the the highs don't last anywhere near as what the what the lows do. And um, she's good, and she's she's read me over the the years, and I've managed to handle defeat a little bit easier, and making sure that. I've got a life outside football when I come home, although I still find it very difficult. Yeah. What's your strengths, Keelan? <laughs> Keelan will be advised. Keelan runs all the way. He's quiet one, he's a fat He's like a wee Jack Russell, so he is. Const yeah, constantly bites the heels, don't you? Mm -hmm. And he thinks he can mix it with the big boys and that, but... <clears throat> tell him, tell him what you learnt last week. How do you, how do, how do you out, out with the big boys? Cut across them. Cut across them, what else? Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Pass the ball when? Before, Before they get to you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good one. Good lad. Do you ever get sick of talking about football? No, never. Never. It's a drug and it's something that you're, you're brought into. And um, I will try and go and switch off with the family once the season's ended, but that doesn't last.